Royal Marines Browning charity event got off to a shooting start in Dunkeld on the last weekend of September. Now in its fourth year, many supporters of the Royal Marines came from far and near for this unique event. The enthusiasm of our supporters, our sponsors and the, the Royal Marines Corps itself as a part of the family have raised it to such a degree we had to move here to Dunkeld which is a wonderful ground as you can probably see all over us, the beautiful sunshine. We're very happy to welcome back our top line sponsors again and just like the Royal Marines family, these are primarily corporates who are run by families. This is an event really for the core family. It raises much needed money to the Royal Marines charity and that money is used to support anybody within that core family. We currently raise over two million pounds per year and events like this are wonderful for that fundraising. But it's more important in some respects than just fundraising. It is also the fact that we get out to reach like-minded people that like to support like-minded people to have a bit of fun, but also to raise money for a very good cause. And as far as I'm concerned, all those that attend today are now supporters of that core family. And I think that's a really powerful lobby. Have you always been infatuated with the core? Yeah. <laughs> and how did you get involved in today's event? About three years ago, I was asked if we wanted to bring along a ladies team. Um, not realising quite how competitive that might be. I sort of glibly said, yes, of course. Before I knew it, here we were. Um, and it's just come along every year ever since. I served with the Marines for two and a half years back in the early 90s um, and have remained connected ever since and have done various fundraising activities over the years um, in support of the Royal Marines charity. There's a real sense of belonging here and it feels like a real sense of community. Looked upon as a tournament of interaction, rather than one of competitiveness, the participants were certainly up for anything that was thrown at them. We can manage 30 teams, and each team is three civilians with one Royal Marine. We call the Royal Marine a wild card, and in some cases that's absolutely true. Some of them are very competent, others are safe. It's important to have that mixture throughout the day, and tonight those Royal Marines and whatever rank they are, we'll sit down with our guests over dinner during the charity auction. This is an amazing event. It's grown year on year. And of course, what's important for us basically is raising money. Last year, £20,000 through this event. This year, with far more people here and a much more developed event, we're hoping for even more. We're working hard in Scotland now because a lot of bootnecks come from Scotland and so we want to be able to be there to give them the support they need. And this is about raising the money to help them, but also strengthening the community to which they belong. Earlier this year, both the Royal Marines Charity and the Royal Marines Association were joined in an amalgamation that has brought about a closer bond between the support groups of our Corps. I think that's important that we've amalgamated the two groups, brought them together, because at the end of the day we're all under the same umbrella and that is of the Royal Marines and the Royal Marines Association and the Royal Marines Charity. So it's just bringing it together and tightening that family unit. In the past three years I've actually joined the Royal Marines Support Network and uh, that's going out and helping you know, older, kind of retired bootnecks to even younger lads that might be struggling a little bit with kind of welfare issues, maybe some of the things that they've seen and done and they need to chat about it, and just directing them and signposting them to the help that they need. This event is a bridge between the civilian community and the serving and retired military community. It's very hard to engineer those opportunities these days. But when people come together for a bit of sport and a bit of fun, and this is really the right mix here, you can actually start bonding friendships that are going to last a long time and that will be mutually beneficial. We also value very much your support. The, the, the values and standards of the Royal Marines, cheerfulness and adversity, although it's actually a lovely day in Scotland today, so the adversity is not, not really that evident. But the fact that we're all here together with a smile on our faces shows that sense of humour that we have. And actually, that most people have. It's just through conversations we get to see it. Barry Barnwell, who organises this event, has just been amazing in building it up. It introduces people to a new sport, introduces people to potential employers, introduces people to sources of friendship and support. It's just a, a hot pot of opportunity. The day was concluded with the Corps of Drums from Her Majesty's Royal Marines Band Scotland performing the ceremonial mess beatings 
on the lawn in front of the Dunkeld House Hotel. This took place before a sumptuous three-course meal was consumed and an auction which raised significant funds for the Romarines charities. We need to make more people aware of what we're doing. This is the second year at Dunkeld and uh, it's been going for four years now. So next year, the fifth one, let's make a massive one. Let's make a really big go of it. It's a cracking day out. The best way of finding out about getting involved next year is to go to the charity website, so www.therawmarinescharity.org.uk. This is Matt Jones, former Royal Marine, reporting for Apple Catcher Films from Dunkeld's Clay Pigeon Frontline.